Now, before I go into this, I should state, there were people at the football game that are more, um, that would be more qualified to judge concussions than myself. There were people that spoke to the player and I did not. And there were people that made the judgments to let him in, and I don't know what, uh, what decision, the decision process was made. However, these were my opinions, mine alone, and this is what I saw. Quarterback for Witten Woods, Shamar Hooks, took a hit to the head. I watched the replay about 15 times, and you can clearly see as one Loveland football player goes over, another goes the opposite direction with his shoulder going into Shamar Hooks' head. He gets knocked down and is on the ground for a little bit. The ruling from the OHSAA says, if any, af any athlete who exhibits signs, symptoms, or behaviors consistent with a concussion shall immediately be removed from the contest and shall not be returned to play that day. What I saw from Shamar Hooks after that play, after he got hit in the head by Jake Janad's shoulder, he was a little dizzy. He was um, a little unbalanced. I didn't get a chance to look at his pupils, which were um, or the number one sign of concussions. But he did seem to be very shaken after a hit to the head from a Loveland player. He was put back in the game on the following drive by the Whitten Woods coaches. And from my perspective, I saw this happening because it's a big, it was a big game, probably the biggest game of the regular season for Whitten Woods and Loveland. And um, they let the heat of the game or the intensity of the game become more important than a player's health. In my opinion, uh, that's what happened that night. Once again, I was, not, I was not on the sideline, but I have several sources that would agree with me, uh, I'm not going to use their names, that that player, Shamar Hooks, after that hit to the head, had no business playing in that game because it was very, very possible he had a concussion. Uh, from what I saw, he was absolutely uh, showing the signs of them, and so we have to ask ourselves if a quarter, uh, if a, um, putting a starting quarterback in to win a game possibly is more important than a young man's health. And from what I saw in that game, Winton Woods put the uh, put victory over a young man's health, and it was it, it, it was a very sad thing for me to see on that game. This should bring up another. Uh, I mean, this 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 incident should though be used as a positive thing. I think that after this. Uh, we can all bring an increased attention to high school football players' health, maybe a little bit more scrutiny upon players after they are hit to the head, and think about what are the long-term impacts of a football game versus a concussion for a young man. Um, I would invite anyone to discuss it with me. If they saw it, share your opinions on the comments below or with me in person. But I, I would definitely like to see the OHSAA review this play and review what happened. I'm Ricky Mulvey for Loveland Magazine TV.